Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglodytes Guitar Show. Since the Halloween season is quickly coming upon us, let's check out the Spider 400 one more time, because I think we're getting really close to that time period where we will start to see these Halloween limited edition guitars come back out. This was Gibson's 2019 Halloween Day guitar. This is one of Gibson's really fancy art guitars that they just completely transform essentially an L5 into this really strange, bizarre looking spidery guitar. I mean, you've got all the spider cobweb stuff on the front. You've got the F holes that have been transformed into spider webs. This is a really cool, spooky guitar. I mean, even take a look at the fretboard. You've got all the spider webs there too, but then you take a look at the back and they took the time to put it back there as well. But that's not where the coolness of this guitar ends. Take a look at the back of the neck. You've got a little spider here. But what is this RAH that we're seeing here? These are the initials of the builder. His name is Rick Heinrichsen. He was the one that was responsible for the psychedelic horror guitar that we did a rock or not on a long time ago. But I spoke with Rick about this piece, so let's go ahead and listen in on that interview. Hi, I'm Rick Henriksen, I'm the artist carver for the Gibson Custom Shop. Hey Rick, thank you for <laughs> taking our call here. Is there an official title for this guitar? Well, I've been calling it Dreamweaver since we started, <laughs> so they, they let me come up with the uh, serial number on there, so I put CS uh, DW1 on there, and that's, nice. what it, that's what it stands for. Is this the only one that's planned at this time, then? <laughs> it, it is. This is the only one. I, I've got a little over two months work in this one. I do it all by hand, you know, I cut everything by hand with a little bitty saw, and, and then I sanded them all by hand it was just so so time consuming and of course carving that spider and everything it was pretty fun though there might be different variations you never know <laughs> gotcha so like maybe maybe in the future for next halloween you might do like right. uh, something else I, i'm actually working on the next halloween idea already <laughs> oh, already nice <laughs> i'm not i'm not gonna tell you what that is yet well, we'll have to look forward to that but it's based on a, a gibson super 400 right uh, it, it's it's an l5 body with super 400 neck on it the super 400 is quite a little bit bigger i, okay. I don't know the exact dimensions but super 400 is giant was this your idea to create this guitar it, it actually all started i had a neck and uh i was just looking for something to carve one day on my bench and i put it up then i i started thinking, well, I want to see if I can carve the spider more 3D. I didn't want it to look flat. I wanted air underneath the legs and everything. So mm -hmm. I started carving, and it took me about a week to get it done. But it just turned out so neat. And, and then I, I took the back of a L5 and started started working on that spider web, and it just kept developing. So the, ne <laughs> ne the neck came first, and then the rest of the idea just kind of followed suit with that really cool spider. Yeah, right. Gotcha. I, I didn't know how strong it was going to be. You know, I, it was almost just a... a experiment but when i start cutting and doing that spider web and it it seemed pretty strong I, well geez and so i took it and i started sanding and it all worked out and, and one thing led to another <laughs> next thing you know we had a guitar <laughs> this one took a, a pretty good team effort I, I rely on everybody in the plant sanders and scrapers and, and finish people and that i we all kind of work together on it. i don't i don't do everything myself i just do the carving and some of the sanding it's painting a little bit but Mm -hmm. hand painting you know but i rely on everybody there so we were all into it You're basically just the like the final artist kind of that shapes it into what it is yeah i mean i'm the, I'm the artist carver it's my guitar until i tell them to put it together or whatever they, they until it's done i have say over uh you know i don't like that on this or i do like that or this is what i want to try to do they they really give me all the control on stuff like that but i mean i ask advice guy in finishing or something he would know way more than i would about certain things or, or whatever you know like i said it's team effort but but i get the final call until it's done did you they, work at all on the the bat customs i didn't i didn't but you know, it's funny because i really really was trying to get this thing done because of course i knew about the bats but um <laughs> and, and this one kind of goes with it really well mm -hmm. but no i didn't do anything with that that's pretty much just purple les paul with the with the bat inlays you know nothing really for me to do, do there i guess there's no super carvings or anything right right i mean they give me all, all kinds of freedom if i if i want to do inlay or, or engrave metal or something it's okay with them you know <laughs> but uh, i i didn't i didn't have anything to do with those the spider webbing that we're seeing is that done like razor blade finish checking or is it like a slight engraving that you can feel right 
right. Yeah, that razor blade, like like they would do if they was uh, just going to make it look old, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I actually had ideas of how I wanted it to look, and but I didn't go back there. I don't do the aging, so I relied on those guys, and I just kind of told them what I was thinking, and then mm-hmm. they took the guitar back and gave it back to me when it was done. After they do that, then it gets buffed and stuff. So you really can't feel them; they're pretty smooth. All right, but but that is the whole finish checking technique that they're using for that then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Because I couldn't tell if it was just like slight engravings out of, I think it's a spruce top. It, it is a spruce top and maple sides and back and neck, but um, there's nothing really done on the sides. I didn't, it's got really pretty flame on the sides and, and the neck and everything. And I didn't want, I didn't really want to mess with them. It just didn't need it. it it's, mm-hmm. We weren't trying to age it. We were just trying to use that technique to, you know, it's give that spider web. Piece. How did you get the design on the tail piece? <laughs> We, we have a guy that does uh, the hardware, you know, if you want to age or whatever, we, we'll talk. And if you want to try and get a certain color, and, and he did that tailpiece, and he painted it. And the only way I could get what I wanted, I wanted purple on there, so I painted that spiderweb on. Okay, so it's just painted on the tailpiece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No type of metal engraving or anything? No, you know, I got to get into that. Everybody keeps asking me. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a couple gravers and see if I can't get into that. But, yeah. but I... I still would have almost had the color because I wanted it purple. So does that get like clear coated? Didn't on that, but uh, I I tried it on some different stuff and I let it sit. And and paint that I use, it stays on there. Yeah, just rub it off or scratch it off like you'd think. It it's actually on there pretty darn good. And that's the big thing with our guitars, you know, are they playable and everything? This one, whoever gets it, they're pr- they're probably not going to take it on stage and play it because he would end up damaging that spider web and stuff. So I don't really figure it's going to get hard to use. Yeah. I, I think that, that pain will hold up for what it's going to be for. I mean, I mean, it's like that psychedelic one. I mean, I had painted everything on that, you know, but we took it. Geez, when we was at Dallas, uh, Cesar took that thing and he played it for quite a long while and it <laughs> looked just fine. The paint that I've found and that I've been using is really holding up. It's really working. So is that the same deal with the uh, the pickup rings? Is that just paint? It is. I painted those. I, but I did I did put a little satin on those uh, to protect them. I did shoot a little bit on there. So those started life is black plastic rings then? Yeah. It's funny how things kind of come together once you start talking. Because at first I thought, were those just like some weird neon purple plastic? <laughs> yeah, but it just kind of works because you're talking about the paint on the tailpiece. It's like, oh, okay, gotcha. Usually if I'm doing it, I, I paint it by hand, but gotcha. rather than just trying to find purple pickup rings. Then it's just kind of standard black hardware. Is that a purple switch tip I see? Yeah, I painted that. Okay. (laughs) I had a a black one, and we was going back and forth between the black and the purple, but I went with the purple. (laughs) I can see. see. So that probably stands out pretty good in person. Yeah, it really does. It it looks pretty neat. So I think from here on the the fretboard, is that inlay then? It it is paint because I couldn't think of anything purple. You know, Mm -hmm. I mean, we could have did pearl or abalone or something, but I just didn't think it fit. So I painted it. It's on there way, way better than you would ever think it is you can't rub it and you take your fingernail and scratch on now like i said though if you use string banding and stuff yeah i'm sure you wear it off so there's no like coating like a maple fretboard gets that no because no because we couldn't coat ebony you said you're not 100 percent confident that this would stand the test of time as far as like being a road dog it's mainly yeah. this back one that you're worried about, but the top F holes are probably more strong. I don't know if they're more strong, but I don't think you'd catch them on something. You know, mm-hmm. I, with that with that great big spider web on the back, if you caught it on your on your belt buckle yeah. or whatever, you know, I I just would be afraid. They're they're thinner than you think they are. I mean, I I hand sanded them. I tried to keep them as good as I could, but I wanted them to look fragile and thin. Yeah, I, it would kind of look you're... goofy if you made them so thick to make them strong, and then you'd kind of lose the effect of. That's what I thought too. I tried to I hand sanded them, and I tried to do it almost football shaped so that they would be thicker in the middle, and you could that would give it a little strength. But it's strong. Longer than you think, you can take your hand, you know, and, and kind of push on it and that, and it doesn't feel flexible or anything, but man, so if you look close, some of them longer web strands, I'm afraid if it caught on something, you might, you might bust it. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, one, one of the guys online was giving me heck that that back spider web wasn't anatomically correct, but I had to leave <laughs> them kind of close together because otherwise, if I, if I made them too wide apart, my gosh, it would have been so fragile, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
So did you ever <laughs> think know. to like put a spider like inside of the guitar? <laughs> we went through all of that, man. We, I, I tell you what, <laughs> we was talking about spiders inside. We was talking about cobwebs inside, just all <laughs> kinds of. Because I, I, I didn't really want to see the back of the electronics mm-hmm. when I was first doing this, but we didn't know where, really whether we should paint the backs of that stuff either. So in the end, we just left it. And uh, I said, well, when the wood spiders found that thing, I guess, and made that web, I guess there was electronics in it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I think it'd be cool, like, in the future, like, have a giant wooden spider that's, like, acting as a center block within the guitar that's just spread out throughout it. I thought about doing all that. I, in the end, we didn't end up doing it. Kind of because time restraints and things like that? Oh, you... um, not really. I mean, they're they're uh, pretty pretty good to me. They just, whenever I get it done, I get it done. Of course, if I spend too, too, too much time on it, it's just going to be so expensive. <laughs> no, it's yep. gonna, gonna buy you know so i have to watch myself bid do you know the fate of this guitar as of right now has it been sold somebody already buy it or i don't i know i know there was somebody interested but they wanted it done by summer nam and i couldn't get it done that quickly you don't have any idea of the pricing yeah i knew you'd ask me that but i really don't we talk you know and i tell them how much time i have in it and of course that's just me (laughs) all of two months worth of work in it and then of course we still have guys that have to put it together and all the things so i don't know for sure what they're gonna ask how, how long does it take to carve out that little spider there it took me about a week <laughs> <laughs> i i i had it i carved because i wanted the thing to just like i said i didn't want it to look like flat i wanted it to look like a real spider so i had to get down in there and then i kept making the legs smaller and smaller because i wanted underneath and i didn't want it to look like an octopus i wanted yep. to look like a spider <laughs> <laughs> and I absolutely adore the fact that you gave it space underneath the legs, so it's like actually coming out. You could grab those legs if you wanted to. That's just you, you, that adds that, everything to it. it. You're right. It just made all the difference in the world as soon as I got them and where I could get underneath of there and that. And I, I knew that was a winner. It just looked, it looked real, man. Do you know what spider that you carved this out of? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't really. I, it's I, just something I, that I, you saw I, in your head? Yeah, it's your basic generic wood spider. I looked at some pictures of spiders, but um, nothing nothing in particular. Gotcha. <laughs> it's just how I remember a spider looking. And those are your initials at the, the heel cap right there? Yeah. And I, I think you were saying you, you sign all of your works then, just not usually in visible locations? No. Uh, well, yeah, they are. I mean, uh, the psychedelic, it was on the neck heel, kind of that too, didn't I? I can't remember, but yeah, they're all signed. But sometimes, like on carving, I, I don't know how many of mine you've seen, but it's carved in there. You can see it, but it's a little more hidden. If I can work it into the carving, I will, just because just it's a little cooler. Yeah, I agree. Is there, is there anything else special I should know about this guitar that I'm not seeing in the photos? Man, um... I think we've pretty much went through it, certainly at all. We, when we got it set up, though, we played it. It sounded fine. Every, that's the first thing everybody always asks me. What's that going to do to the sound? But, but uh, luthiers that, that have been there a while and that, they said, oh, the, that spider web in the back and that isn't going to affect it like you think it is. The front has more than the back, you know, to do with that. And uh, we, we didn't take it in a real quiet room and play it acoustically or nothing because it's got pickups in it. But it sounded, it sounded like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> So is this, like, acoustically, when you strum it, do you hear it out the back, or is it still mainly just projecting forward? Yeah, it seemed to be more projecting it forward. I mean, I didn't do any detailed tests or nothing, because mm-hmm. like I said, it's really probably never going to be played like that. And a lot of times they'll just go to a collector, and I'll, I'll never see them again, but a lot of times they'll talk to me first, at least I have an idea who has it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So are there any other projects that you've been working on that have already came out that I might have missed or something you're allowed to talk about that hasn't came out yet? Um, I am working on a ton of them right now. I, I have a lot in the works. But as far as ones I have coming out, I've only been the artist at the custom shop for a little over a year, so I haven't had a huge amount of time to build up my collection yet. But did you did you get to see that hippie guitar that was at the um, Winter Nam show in Anaheim last year, Summer of Love. Okay, yep, so, Summer of yeah. Love. I remember seeing that one, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun one. I mean, it wasn't a huge amount of carving or nothing, but I just the way it turned out, everybody fell in love with that thing at the at the Nam show, so that was a lot of fun. That, that was the first show that I had been to, 
a guy from New Zealand ended up buying that, but he was a sweet old man with a high-end guitar shop, and he had a place in his shop. He was going to put it on the wall. <laughs> I know Reverb's got a basket weave, one that I did. I was real proud of it. It's got some flowers on it, and the, the whole body is, I carved it to look like a wicker basket, kind of. <laughs> I actually carved that one just before I officially moved to the custom shop. I used to be at Gibson USA, worked for Gibson USA for uh, seven or eight years. And it just happened that uh, I heard they needed something with Paisley carved on it. And I said, well, geez, I, I think I could do that. And the new product guy at the time, he said, well, sh okay, give it a try. And so I, I went out and I hadn't ever carved anything before, but I just kind of knew I could. So I went out and bought three chisels and I, I carved them my a guitar and they asked me if I wanted to be the custom shop artist. <laughs> it turned out pretty neat. So th this is all a pretty new thing for you then, past like 10 years or so? Yeah, it really is. I mean, I've always worked with wood. And like I said, I worked at USA, but I never carved like that. I just mm -hmm. I just knew I could. I, I've always been artistic. My whole family's artistic. And I just knew I could if I wanted to. And turns out, so far, I've been having some luck. <laughs> <laughs> So, so have you ever uh, worked with Bruce Kunkel at all? Because I know he kind of did Bruce, similar stuff. Bruce was gone by the time I went down there. And I don't know how long he'd been gone, but he he came in once or twice. And I got to visit with him, you know, briefly, but didn't really even know of him until I got down there. But yeah, I've met him and we've talked a little bit. So is there anybody else that does the carving for Gibson or is it just you? You're the guy now. Just me. I'm a lucky man. <laughs> okay. So if I ever see some carving on a guitar and I need some info, I just need to reach out to you. Uh, yeah, if I sit here, I'll be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for doing this interview. I think the viewers will enjoy. If you could just give us a closing statement on the guitar, what your favorite feature of it is. Um, I would have to say my absolute favorite part is that spider. I just had a blast carving it, and it's inspired me. I have some more ideas in mind just because of how happy i was with how that turned out i just everything about it i'm pleased with <laughs> yeah that has to be my favorite feature too and it's yeah. it's nice knowing now that that was the thing that started the whole thing bruce has the dragon 400 you now have the spider 400 and there you go. <laughs> i hope this interview gave you a better understanding of this art guitar there's definitely a lot of intricate little things that i would have missed had i not talked to rick about this so the only question left, would you rock the Spider 400 or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to see Rick's next Halloween creation for this year, 2020. Take care.